Okay, here we have another example of how the of how white utilizes the underpass in order to occupy a critical square by using a position um, as well as, of course, uh, first controlling um, a, qu uh, a square in the fourth rank for a pawn on the third rank. So here's the correct play for white. White will move to um, b2 because, again, white is going for the outside critical square because that's the only way, as we shall see, that's the only way that white can, can control a critical square. So white is going for the outside. Again, outside means away from the black pawn, from the black king. So black is trying to is trying to get there in time, but um, but black doesn't get there in time because at this point, again, white does not control a critical square yet. White needs to control um, a square on the fifth rank for a pawn on the third rank in order in order to have a guaranteed win. But the only problem here is that white has just seized the opposition. Okay, this is the diagonal opposition. White has just seized the opposition, so um, no matter what black does, white will be able to outmaneuver him. And um, as we have seen in previous videos, the turning maneuver will give white a critical square in the fifth rank, and white will win this game. Um, black's best move is to move to b6, but at this point. White maintains the vertical opposition by moving into b4, and now white has just exercised the turning maneuver, and now white controls a critical square, and it's a guaranteed win for white. So, if we analyze the uh, starting position again, then as we can see, the key here is the reason white is winning is because white is able to not only get to a4, which is of course wonderful, but white is also able to make sure that when it gets to a4, it has the opposition. And so at that point, white can manipulate the situation so that it can exercise the turning maneuver and, get, and gain control of the fifth rank. So that's the key here to, to this game. Now, the problem is that if white goes to uh, b2, I'm sorry, c2, meaning white does the more obvious move, which is moving forward, then it's going to be a draw. The reason being that white is not able to f to occupy the critical square, which is c5 or c or b5. Um, white is not able to occupy those, and white is also not able to um, get the opposition when it's on when it's on the c rank, on the fourth rank. Now, if white would to be able to force black to uh, into such a situation that when white is on the fourth rank white has the opposition against black meaning it's black's turn to act then white will be able to exercise the turning maneuver but that is not the case because look at this black is moving into uh, d7 now now this is the only correct move for black black must move into c7 at this point now black is black has the vertical, the distant vertical opposition, there's three squares between the two kings, so black has the opposition, and now um, white cannot win, because if white is going to move to the fourth rank, black will occupy the sixth rank directly across white, and so black will have the opposition, and it's going to be a draw. So that's the problem of the direct approach. Taking the direct approach for white doesn't work, because black will make sure that when white moves into the fourth rank, black will have the opposition in the, on the very same file on the sixth rank. So, um, so this doesn't work for white. Okay, white tries to move to c4, black moves to c6. If white were to move, of course, to b4, black were to move to b6. So, um, yeah, so this doesn't work. Again, black just follows white on every file, so this doesn't work. Um, the reason why it works, if you go to the outside, if you do the underpass, and you go to the outside square, is because in this case, in this case, white is just, uh, black is just not close enough to the action here to force white 
to force himself into having the opposition against white when white moves into a4. That's the key, uh, why the key to, under, to the understanding of why white is going to win this game. And when white gets to a4, white is going to have the opposition. That's the key thing to remember here. Um, the closest white, black can be, is um, is uh, what's it called? Is uh, d c6? I mean, c6. And if black, if black is on c6 and white is on a4, then white has the opposition, right? As, once again, let's just see how it plays out. I'm sorry, this is the wrong one. Okay, the correct move is b2, and Okay, so when black moves into c6, white moves into a4. So now white has the opposition. Of course, if black plays any different, then it's an easy win for white, because white will easily be able to occupy um, the a5 square, which is a critical square for a pawn on the third rank. So um, so black is basically forced to beeline to the action on a direct diagonal from the e8 square and if black does that then white will have the opposition and therefore and thereby force black into relinquishing control of the of the fifth rank critical square and white will win this game